Susie practice arrives to check in. So I go to the dashboard and search her name and today's arrivals. Open it. I get her ID and make sure it matches the name on the reservation. And of course, I'll need to add an address. And save that. And then if I need her other guest um, ID to check her in, I add a guest. And then I need to check the credit card that she booked with and confirm that it's actually hers and that she has it in person. Next, I'll confirm her reservation uh, with her. So she has two guests for three nights um, in a six bed mixed sex dorm. If I need to add or subtract nights, I would just go to quick edit and you can add to the beginning and you can subtract by unclicking. I'll check in another tab where the calendar open is open to see if room 19 is a good room for them. If not, I can just select a different room and bed here. I can add costs to the reservation. So add item. Maybe they just need one towel. There's other things I can add as well. So add tax fee. We have, for example, parking. Change it to $9 for three nights. And say we have rules for how much in deposits um, they should pay. And sometimes I have to change the amount. In this case, they have 20. Maybe I want to turn it to 40. So I'd add tax fee again. And I'd add an additional $20 to their deposit, making it 40. If they are confused about price, they don't know why the balance due is this much, then I can use this upper right corner to summarize what their costs are for them. Or I can just uh, generate a new invoice. Uh, let's see here, this one open it up and print it out and it summarizes their um, prices pretty well. And let's see, they let's say they are ready to pay. I go to Folio and I can add payment. I can have them pay in cash. I can have them pay in credit card on just a general terminal we have at the front desk or I can charge their card on file by clicking process payment. And let me show you if they're gonna just split the costs. I can do it this way, just type in what they're paying, what the first person's paying, and continue. And then I'd add another payment. So just say on the terminal for the remainder. MasterCard and continue. Now that they're paid in full, I can mark them as in-house. I can print two bed receipts for them, which we store in the registration cards area of CloudBeds. And then I can just give them their key.